that's a great honor just to be uh, amongst the great players who laced up, who uh, wore the blue, and I played with a lot of great guys, and it was just fun just being here because I was thinking about myself as I was walking in, starting in the backyard of Brownsville, Tennessee, to the hardwood of Rump Arena, whoever would have thought that. So just to uh, be here, it all started in Brownsville, my brothers, my mom, dad, sisters, everybody helped me with this process. And, uh, so it's been great. Tony, just curious, as you look back, are you more proud of being still the fifth all-time leading scorer here or, or being second in career steal? You know what? I, I thought about second in career steals. I played with the guy who was number one. And we spoke three days ago, Wayne Turner. So it was um, probably the steals. But I never thought about that I would be second on the all-time steal list. It was first before Wayne passed me. And making a lot of threes, I played with so many great guys. You know what? Uh, got a call from Antoine Walker today. Uh, Walter McCarty. We talked about Scott Patton, Anthony L., Jeff Shepard. I mean, the list goes on and on of how we came together and had great chemistry. And it was just a lot of fun just playing with all those guys. Tony, uh, the double zeros going up in the rafters tonight. Curious, how did you choose that number and, and it's unique? How did I come to double zero? That's an interesting question. Because I started my sophomore year, my numbers were 20 and 21. And I don't know, I just decided I came down to Atlanta and played with my brother. I live in Atlanta now, so I'm from Georgia. Uh, but I played that summer with my brother. And I felt like my game had gotten a lot better. So when I got back home, went to my high school coach, and I told him I wanted to wear the number double zero. He's like, that's strange. How do you go from 21, 2021 to double zero? But again, my brother wore it, and I, I thought I'd done a tremendous job just representing his number. And um, I was hoping he would be here. We had some other things to take care of. So that number meant a lot to me in high school, and as well as here at the University of Kentucky. And then get the chance to wear it on several teams in the NBA. You know, and I played on a lot of teams in the NBA, so I have a lot of double zeros. <laughs> hey, Tony, there's a lot of thought about this year's team, whether they need to take a loss. And you guys obviously had the loss right there in the SEC tournament before you right. went off. Did that help you guys? And do you think that a team needs that at all? I mean, he wasn't trying to lose. I mean, <laughs> we had won 27 games in a row. Of course not. Now, I want to see this team go. You know, go for it, you know, as possible, you know. You don't want to lose a game now, but the way they've been playing, I think they've had close games. And now it's about, you know, finishing off what they started. And having the experience come back from last season has really helped this year's group of guys. So you want to see a team like this finish finish what they started. They're good. They play together. They, they enjoy the game. They have fun. And they're well coached. 96, Kentucky, or 2015? It's, it's different styles. I thought our style was a lot different. And uh, you know, they, they really great in half court, we were great in the full court. We pressed, we turned it over, we scored in the 90s, sometimes in the 100s. So we had a different style that they're playing right now. They're long and athletic. I thought we were, we would have been quicker. We had much better shooters. I would say that. <laughs>